Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Hey boys, what are you doing there, huh? Come over to say hi? Huh? Come over to say hi? I'm here in the yard. Uh, it's a brown out right now. About the last hour and a half or so. It's just soak sitting in the house. Uh, last night we had a super hard rain for I'd say probably a half hour maybe or so and then it stopped and then it came again uh, I'm guessing very inch inch and a half of rain maybe uh, looks like the gardens took it okay uh, some of this okra over here is kind of bent over a little bit still don't have any potatoes sprouting up yet uh, the ground down inside there actually looks powder dry like the rain never even made it down in there with, with all the plants shielding it so uh, if you ever do grow any keyhole gardens you gotta remember this all this is is a gigantic pot and finding that out real hard uh, it's just dry as can be you have to keep watering it all the time And again, it depends on what kind of soil you, soil you, soil you have in it. Um, I've got real fine uh, cow manure with a little bit of clay mixed in it, so it's very light, and it seems to dry out real bad. Where the ground here, this is just loosened up clay. Now this looks real damp. But again, we had rain, and the sun wasn't out much today either, so this just looks like an overgrown jungle here. Uh, this uh, keyhole... And the actual keyhole itself is all filled in. We are getting quite a few um, tomatoes, Everglades tomatoes. I got a couple little rotten ones over there. Those are the ones I want to pick. They're the ones I want for seeds. Then they, they've gone the full, the full growing season. The seeds should be uh, ripe. Let's see what I got here. Here's one that the other problem you have with tomatoes if they're semi ripe and it rains, they crack. Uh, over here, I put up a piece of tile and uh, I've been just squirting the seeds out on the tile and then letting them dry in the sun. But uh, if you don't get them right away, the rain just washes them, washes them away. I was putting them on the cement, but they were just getting the seeds are so small, they were just getting. Uh, stuck in the cement and I couldn't get them out with my knife. Uh, the best way to do tomatoes is to put them in a glass of water or a pitcher of water if you have enough of them and let them sit in the sun for a couple days and the little mucus around the seeds will uh, rot away and separate basically and the seeds that go to the ground to the bottom of the the vessel are uh, good seeds. The ones that float to the top are usually junk seeds. That's how we save seeds back home. See if I can get over here to the. There's a few of them right there that I, that I want to pick for sure. Let's see, they're all cracked and rotten looking. That stuff's getting crazy. It's growing out of growing out of control here. Oh yeah, look at those. Those are perfect. It's nice and rotted. Those seeds will be good for sure, probably. I'm trying to keep the juice out of my finger. I just cut my finger good today. A piece of bamboo. No luck on that. Still a couple more over there that I need to grab. Be nice if I get them to the seed just to drop down in the keel and start growing on their own too. That wouldn't be bad either. There's a nice little tomato. They're teeny, but the little ones are sweet. Little clusters of them over here. But look at the look at the pot now. We had a ton of rain last night, and that's just dry as a bone. 
Another one there. This mush. And I kind of want to just save the seeds this round. Um, a few of them are getting eaten here and there, but the Marfi picked some the other day. But might as well save the seeds because they're. I bought these seeds. It was it's like ten or fifteen seeds for five dollars over Amazon. But they're what? They're Florida Wild Everglades tomatoes. And a friend of ours over in Negro suggested those to me. He said he heard they grow good in this climate. And uh, I'd hate to, hate to say that he's right because they're doing good. I don't have them in the ground, though, because I have no luck with tomatoes in the ground. I've got them in a pot up in the keyhole garden. These are on top of a piece of tile. I'm just trying to keep stuff out of the pot, the, whatever insects, whatever's causing the problems. I'm not sure. Um, the best thing I've had here is running a cable across the yard. I used to run it from that mango tree to a coconut tree that was right over here, but it's gone. So I'm going to have to get a longer cable or something. Or maybe we'll go from this one to that coconut tree over there and uh, cut some of the leaves down so that they have enough sun. But uh, hanging tomatoes grow great. I have a video I haven't put up yet. Uh, it's an old video of how to make a the container for them and uh, I put a video up a little while back of the uh, harvest from one batch of them they, they grow tomatoes fantastic so I think this group right here what we'll do is we'll just smash these down just a little bit so they don't roll away we'll take these up and put them in a glass of water and I'll show you the you know every tomato if you look at them close they got a little little mucus sack around them and uh, put them in the water and the Sun breaks that down and again I just mentioned before that the the good seeds we will do it here in the kitchen the good seeds sink and the other seeds float the, and all the junk floats too. Here's a nice glass a friend of ours gave us. I've been talking to her on the uh, messenger. She's here in the Philippines right now. Her husband just died and you know, give her our condolences about that. He was a serviceman I believe and uh, they live somewhere up by Angeli City. I remember when they moved, they, right after they moved, a typhoon hit and it ripped the roof off their condominium or whatever they were living in, an apartment building. And uh, it was a shame. But beautiful glasses. Uh, they sent those to us all the way from Angeli City, wherever they're at, uh, in a box for Marafi. And uh, uh, we've just used them like crazy. And uh, very nice, heavy duty glasses with a pretty picture of a rose on them. Alright, but we're going to use that for our tomato seeds today. And uh, I'm going to squish them all in there and I'll be right back. Let me show you what I'm doing here. I'm just taking a, a tomato like this. I like to put them in the water and then just give them a good squeeze. Shake them a little bit and what you're left with is the pulp, which is fine. And just looking to get all the seeds out of there you can because saving seeds is a great thing. And these are non hybrids, these are just a uh, totally old natural uh, variety, supposedly. There could be extra seeds in there. So you want to make sure you get them all out if you can because otherwise you're just wasting them. And if you drop a piece of the tomato in there, it's no big deal because, like I say, it's just going to, in a couple days, 
out in the sun it's just going to basically break down and the junk will flow to the top and the uh, good seeds will stay in the bottom then when you get the the good seeds in the bottom pour you know pour the water off then take those seeds and put them on a paper towel or something like that to dry which is a good idea and then when they're totally dry you can either plant them or get this garbage here or put them in a envelope or something like that now here's something interesting here now and obviously some of these tomatoes here are kind of rotten but if you look there real close can you see that right there right there that's some sort of a worm or something almost looks like a fish or something but see that that's some inside of the fruit there's, a, there's another one in here too another one here that's probably just because they were some of these were rotten I'm assuming Look, another one in here too there's all kinds of them here now what kind of worms are these I don't know there's another one there too these could be I don't know, could they be tapeworms or something, or, you know, who knows? So I wouldn't eat a, I wouldn't eat a tomato that's damaged at all, especially in the tropics. I wouldn't eat any fruit or anything that's damaged here because of the, all the different diseases and things like that. And same thing goes for water. You don't drink the water here for any reason whatsoever. Out in the wild, you make sure you have a, a water filter that takes out the protozoas. Um, a good water filter will also take out viruses too. Uh, nothing takes out the chemicals besides a something like a reverse osmosis filter or something like that. But uh, the filters do a good job taking out the sediments, the what is it, Gerardia, and I can't think of the the, the other one. But there's a, there's two major protozoas you want to stay away from that'll make you real sick. One will actually grow on you. You have to take medicine to get rid of it. And viruses. You don't want to get typhoid or something like that. And that's, you know, that's prevalent. And I've never heard of it in our little area here, but the, you know, you hear about giant outbreaks, um, you know, after disasters and stuff, after typhoons and floods and stuff like that. So I don't know what those are. It's, It's interesting. I saw one worm one day in a in a bucket that was almost empty, and it was like a a piece of hair about eight or ten inches long. And I, don't, I have no idea what that was. That was very and it, it, about as thick as a hair, but it was moving and swimming in the, just a little bit of a puddle of the water. Very very strange. Another one. So no idea how many how many I squeezed into the into the glass here, how many worms could be tons of them. But uh, what I was looking at the the uh, piece of tile for, I was going to take all these uh, other seeds and scrape them into the uh, glass. But uh, most tomato seeds will be fairly good sized and dark. The smaller the tomato, the smaller the seeds, obviously. But you can see they have like this little little sack around them of goo and uh, you know, that's the, where the juice from your tomato comes from but uh, yeah, don't really like that anybody knows what that is Give me a shout back. Strange looking. All right. Well, that's all I have for now. I'll come back uh, in a couple days, and I'll just put a little clip on with the uh, uh, finished seeds, and uh, I'll show you how to dry them or something like that. And what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to put them in a paper envelope, like a. Uh, change envelope whatever you might see 
and then I'm going to put those in a vacuum sealer and vacuum vacuum seal them and to keep all the moisture off them all the the bugs parasites whatever could get on your seeds because I don't have much luck with seeds that I save here so uh, I'm going to try something new this year all right well, that's all I have for now please click like and subscribe you can contact me anytime at blind Owl outdoors at gmail.com thank you very much tell me your stories about seeds and saving seeds and vegetables or whatever you want worms I don't care thank you have a great day no I am